audio thing. Testing, testing, testing. Might have to raise the uh, volume just a little bit on this end. So I'm not constantly leaning into the mic. Welcome everybody, welcome to the stream. Much better mic this time. I used my PC mic, got to work. I don't know why it didn't work last night, but it works this time. Uh, do let me know how it sounds from this distance. Try not to like constantly lean into the mic. won't be streaming, well, I might stream a bit, actually, a bit longer this time. I uh, do have to go to work later, as I work late at night, and that's going to be talking about this game. Sorry if you can hear crunching, my cat beating. Tell you what though, as much fun as I'm having with this game, this game's an absolute blast. I can tell I'm not having the same impact without the music. I get it. I don't want copyright. I really don't. I hate dealing with that shit. But right now, I gotta admit, yeah, I wish I could listen to some of the music. It's not even like the Star Lord stuff. Like, uh, what's the point of having the Star Lord stuff? Because there could still be some like rocking tunes to listen to while you fight. But here, it's just kind of like you know, your typical action game music it's still good still good don't get me wrong i'm having an absolute blast i love what they're doing with the characters nice good blend of the comics and the movies
Hopefully we got somebody in the chat. Got a different mic this time. This is my uh, really good recording mic that I use for voiceover work. Audio, test audio. That doesn't sound too bad. Okay, good. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. That looks quick. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible! It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try hold it, Drax. When you try again, why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. We've got to find a way to lock it in the place. Let's get it. Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we got to get the next one out. It. I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, and dry now, too. Yeah. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Be careful. It might be playing dead. Why does it not attack? Perhaps it is dead. Poke it and find out. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? I'm Groot. You're a cool dude, Groot. 
Hey, uh, since we got a sec, I know you volunteered for this, but I want you to understand that I don't really think you're a monster. I am Groot. I mean, you're super tall and intimidating, and I think that's why this is gonna work, but I think you look freaking awesome. I am Groot. I guess the rest of us must look pretty weird to you, huh? I am Groot. <laughs> that better not have been a comment about my hair. Where did you guys go? The uh, employee evaluation. Did you pass? That's confidential. He wants to know how Quill's guns can just make ice out of nothing. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. type stuff scouting looks like we uh need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it excellent work peter rocket do we have a frostbite kit on the milano worried about quill misfiring his new toy will not be the first time <laughs> yeah <laughs> brute still has a knot hole where quill shot him said he was practicing uh clem greasewood clint greasewood always on the wrong side. I could throw. Touch me again and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. Your speculation is also conceivable. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Uh, anybody else smell that? Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. <sighs> I am clenching every orifice. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got monster work food? Your taste, but... The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our. Our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? <laughs> Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. 
yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Coming with me. That's cool. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. <laughs> Deep freeze. Oh, can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas blast. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much do we ask for our monster? What do you mean, go get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But I am going to stick with the basic one just because I think it's really cool. Like, it's Thing heavy cool. Really cool in this Surprisingly one. light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no. It would compress anything inside to a mound of quicking bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. Don't get any ideas. Give it a slice, Gamora. Cutting right up! So, when are the rest of us gonna get 
objective. It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. No, but the guy I took them off of did. Sold them. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. <laughs> Zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blob monster or angry space cops or. A random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and... Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a Flarkin Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. Group. You ready to squeeze in? I'm... Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Pocket style if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> We'll meet Lady Hellbender. Okay, here we go. Something we can sing to kill the time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. Right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure 0 0.1 clicks, 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9, 2.1, 0 0.3 clicks, 4.5, <laughs> 0 0.4 clicks, 0 0.5 clicks, 0 0.6 clicks, clicks. Shot. 
I really like this shot. God, this game is gorgeous. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. So cool. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. She says she can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I am <laughs> so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. That fat man cake. That is fucking awesome. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling Mom. off. Mom. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. be a good lie I will pull. <laughs> or a good line, anyway. <laughs> you watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. 
but you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a <laughs> long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. <laughs> Hand still stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. I like this house. It's a nice house. Oh, hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Kubrick, Kubrick, that, that's cool, that, that's cool, I like that. <laughs> uh, oh, is that risk? Mom's pretty close to winning this game. That's cool. I could zoom in and see some of this stuff close. My favorite thing to do in Arkham Asylum is just zoom in and be like, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Really? <laughs> Cause, uh, hmm. Yeah, no. My boy, that, that's... I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Sorry if this stuff seems boring, it just I like exploring everything. The sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Dance as every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Alright, let's 
So let's see what the gift is. I'm guessing it's the blasters. First, or shit. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Jealous, my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. Could really use a voice of reason here, Peter. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woberry. And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else. Can you explain that again? Yes. Yes, After we sell Groot, we sneak back in and use my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. <laughs> We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, hey, I'll be cutting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer. Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got no name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a Flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Orthos tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot warm sort of thing. You mean hot cold, right? What? The Kaleran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. <laughs> Follow me and pay attention. 
You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's competencies. Spare me your empty Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you mean. Do not blame me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. I got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Boy, uh, video games like they're uh, big uh, mommy material. Lady Hellbender. Lady Dimitrescu, and now you got this chick. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. <laughs> A flora colossus. I thought your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean, no. 
Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Groot, he's the best monster you could buy. Either you pay us what he's worth. Hey there, hi, Star Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. Ten thousand units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. Don't you think Drax. ten thousand is a more reasonable <laughs> amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> He's he is just kidding. Ten thousand units, and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough. If I wished to hear Kerr's whine, I'd visit the feeding pens. <laughs> Nine thousand units for the Flora Colossus destroyer. Nine thousand five hundred and thirty-seven. What for the cage? Deal. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Oh, what well, Yeah, this is great. Wrong. We'd be. Thank you. with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just a robber. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We comparing Scuddy father figures? Because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I will show you guys a real party. Ah, uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm. Quietly. Not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. That's not what I said. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Katathians do not date. Perform feats of virility and are judged worthy. Or not. Is that how you ended up with your wife? Uvat was the most proficient killer in our village. Her affections were sought after by the most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. 
past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? Paid, stolen, such ugly words. I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time when on Sara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Before your days, Muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. Admit it. I knew just looking at these goons. They couldn't handle their drink. I'm not sure you should talk. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying. Have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door and it'll find Groot. It is shameful that Lady Hellbender's minions are so easily inebriated. Hey, our so-called leader is the biggest lightweight of all. Am I good or am I good? Those are the same options. Hey, remember that time in Antlos on Nowhere? Okay, the tracker says... Ah, come on, you skaggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Lottie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Perhaps Lady Hellbender operates Snowy the bit. with her mind. No what? bit. We watched her bewitch a Terra Terra. Perhaps this is among her powers. Well, failing magic elevator. Let's entertain the idea that the controls are up on that front. If we can't find a switch, maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. Uh, the Sycnarfian night air. I wonder to see what it looks like. Yeah, what does I love the Dave Batista version? For this. It's refreshing. Smells like eggs. Burnt hair. Indeed. Give her the old laser eyes, Quill. See if you can spot a power source or something. Hang on. Yeah, really big. You sure that tracker is fixed? I told you, it ain't broke. I don't like our whole plan relying on some trinket. Well, unless you're hiding a map inside that jumpsuit, it's the best we got. Drax, think you could lift this thing? Easily. But what do you want me to do with it? Still working on that. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course, but you did not ask. Ooh, All right, like the, uh... I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. I really like the use of the term guardian environment. I think that's really cool. Ugh, what are they doing trying to run this much current through one capacitor? Is there a problem? Uh, whoops! Must be setting our soothing sounds, volume two. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Ugh, these ground wires are just tied together. Lucky I don't get fried. Do not die in that hole, Rodent. You'll be unable to retrieve your corpse. You're all heart, Drax. My heart is only a small component of my anatomy. You said it! Switch this. Done. What's it like in there, Rocket? Cramped and dusty. Smells like wet fur. That is the smell. I know it's me. This one. Oh, he... Rock. It's half-powered, but 
But I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There's gotta be a second no. Okay. Okay, here. thing is a mess. There's wires everywhere. And here? Got it. Uh, here? Close it, close it, close it! Close it, what? Hey! We've got company! Yes, Killing permitted now, Peter Quill. Yes, now! Kill them now! Let's put these guys down quickly! They were foolish enough to raise the alarm while they could. Deal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. Nothing, it's just, uh... Switch this! Done! Of course she can't just have a normal friggin' ground-level chair. What the flark was that? Uh, just a little slip. No big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Nah, you probably just lowered a height of bed or something. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? He's right. Groot went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. I'm... Mostly sure. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I'll give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark! Shh. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You make sure he's stuck. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. Rodents is more irritable than usual. <laughs> Anyone else thinking Groot's tracker may have gone dark because they... No! Don't even think like that! 
is more plausible that the tracker was discovered and has been destroyed. Well, that's better, I guess. Ah, you can't hide stuff from me. I'm gonna stick to the basic one for now. Imagine the headache these guys will have when they wake up. Let's just make sure we're not here when that happens. Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Plan. What plan? So far, we don't go that way. It's like the Flarkin Collector's Museum all over again. At least these beasts seem well cared for. Prison's a prison. Creature she's tamed. I am familiar with some of these creatures. Not as rare as I would have expected from Lady Hellbender's collection. Never meet your heroes, Drax. Stand back. We will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two. Oh, that dashed witch scripted down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, we hope it was. Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, buddy. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? Okay, this door was definitely locked before. 
Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. She did do something to that Tartar. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarker do to you? Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. Oh. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them!
Destroy that lie! You will not be so fearsome when it has no arms! Go get them! Now, wait! Oh, you do on your feet, big guy! My vengeance! Thank me later! What is that, Peter Quill? any longer, Rodent. Your battle skills are sloppy and erratic. My skills? You've got all the subtlety of a brain-dead battering ram! Say the word, Peter Cloak, and I shall single-handedly tear these fiends apart! Whoa, 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 guys! These insults you keep tossing around? Are we a team, or should we just throw each other's lives away? Because the only thing that matters here is that we knock them out together. Who's with me? Who top steel? Let's do this! You said right. Destroy I them! I can hear that music playing. I really wish they did. Swarm them, my pet! Rush them! Go get them! We don't have enough problems already! What's a few more? Thank you! She's not gonna let this one go! Because it would be dishonorable to forgive such a slight! Branch out, crew! Watch out for more jelly! And the other tentacles! Bombs away, Rocket! We're about to have more problems! I commend your effort, Lady Hellbender! Your word! Oh. Than nothing. Now, overwhelm them! Deadliest woman in coming! Now, attack! I am trying to destroy! Rush them! The beast must feed upon these gelatinous creatures! As long as it ain't feeding on us! I got all these toys, I'm just dying to you! Smoke the rocket! Go, get you them! Okay? Warm them, my pets! Last time someone got stabbed! Come on, you overgrown octopus! Just give me an opening! Now, wait! How does it feel, Lord? You must be my pet. I think it's trying to heal! Gotcha, motherfucker! Got you! Uh, one more. Hey, Quill! Wanna see some 
inside Nightmobile. Now get some water and fresh soil won't fix. Root oh. says thanks and double from me. Now, over. I commend your effort, Lady Hellbender! How about our effort? Now, attack! Destroy their mind! She's not gonna let this one go! That's a problem for later! Come on, you overgrown octopus! We're gonna cut you into tiny pieces! Escaping Lady Helbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? 
She will hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives a scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree, tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot. You got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No. I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze? Nikki! Is it true? I really want to go. There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went into the quarantine zone, I sent the board, and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were a little bad. Because I was too late. I didn't know the Raker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, I'm yeah, right. keep your star pants on. All right. right, I'll go check the array. I'm bring her back. I just have to... What was that? Monkey bottle. Mark it! Look at what it did! It chewed everything! The scut! Rocket, relax. It's just an array. <laughs> just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the doc to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. The behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. And if there is a next job. Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else. Get out of my tail, Quill. I'm busy. Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey! Who said you could touch that? I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. 
I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? Kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, unable to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... Awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What we didn't know... What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard her die, Quill. Oh, Rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Rocket. For real. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of excited for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 because they said that they would go more into Rocket's backstory. Yeah. Probably gonna make a few audience members cry if they go into, like, flashback territory. Make it fast, Quill. I still got that array to repair. Can we talk for a second? Are we okay? Oh, tip top, Captain. So that's a no. Why do you care? I'm just here to fix things, right? Who cares what I think? Rocket, please. Just because I don't always take your advice doesn't mean I don't listen to you. We're a team. Everybody's got an opinion. So, you'd rather listen to Gamora? Gamora? Gamora knows her stuff, man. She's the navigator. She navigates the stars and, and planets and, uh, uh, comets. She navigates comets. Sometimes. And Groot is our, uh, special vegetation specialist. His opinion's valid, too. And Drax? What makes him so great? He's, uh, 
Uh, the tactical tactics. The man is <laughs> such a tactician. And then there's me, the grumpy Flarkhole who does ship repairs. Come on. You're a valued member of this team. We started this together. Now we need to make something profitable of it. Something lasting. We could go to nowhere like you suggested. But if we don't pay that fine, Novacor will come for us. How do we make money then? Maybe paying our fine makes some sense. Exactly. So let's just get it over with and move on. Right? We'll see. There. Happy now? We done? Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle. Uh... One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh! Ding, ding, done! Ain't gonna get craftsmanship like that anywhere else. Uh, penny for your thoughts? What is a penny? Uh, it's money. Like units. The saying means I'd pay to know what you're thinking. We must use our currency to pay the Nova Corps fine, or we risk... Drax. Just tell me what's up. I am realizing that I do not know as much as I thought I did. Our visit to Seknarf 9 was not what I expected. Because Lady Hellbender isn't a giant? She is definitely not. That is only part of it, Peter Quill. On our way to her fortress, I realize that many of my assumptions about this team have been incorrect as well. Really? The Assassin and the Rodent. Without them and the tree fighting nobly beside us, we would not be alive right now. I told you, they're not bad people just because they have a bad past. Life is... complicated, Drax. Things are never simple. On Kataf, it was. I had a family that I cherished and a certainty about life that I no longer possess. I'm sure you'll find it again. Just give it some time. Ah, a fitting musical accompaniment for the situation. <laughs> Anyone in there? Rocket? What? Can't you see I'm busy? Is that my toothbrush? It fits in the uh, small cracks. Oh, Rocket, please! Hold it in for a tick. I'm almost done. Oh, nice! You made a cute little pen. You didn't mean to chew up the comms, did you? Hi, you leave. Do 
not like that noise. That's actually kind of terrifying. Mora, did you find <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes. No. <sighs> it doesn't matter. The Halos hopes in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So, why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes, I am. Hate to disappoint, but I saw everything. Didn't really peg you as a doll collector. And yes, I value my life. Peter, I'm not gonna kill you for asking about my collection. That's good, because last time... So what if I collect them? A lot of people have hobbies. Groot collects plants. Rocket's obsessed with bombs. Yeah, yeah, and Drax has a lot of... really scary-looking knives. See? Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess. You know, as a kid, I collected stuff too. Baseball cards, action figures... You think collections are childish? No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Peter. I don't care what you think, I'd just rather keep my hobbies to myself. Yep. Like Time's ticking away, Peter. Weren't we gonna pay that fine? Oh, looks like someone changed their mind. We're paying that fine, Rocket, whether you like it or not. Hey, Groot! Is the Chew Devil trying to chew on anything down there? I am Groot. Good. Keep it that way. Starting to think maybe it's just what it eats, you know? I am Groot. Yeah, the QZ would have been an open buffet for something that eats wires. Tell me, Rodent, would you have harmed the llama creature if the tree had not removed it? You think? That thing's got it coming. I would prefer if you were framed. I would prefer not to have to remove your arm. What the? Why do you care about that llama now? We have removed it from its natural habitat. We must now tend to its needs. Yeah, as if. Okay, Corel, get ready to be impressed. So you surprised me. Once. Don't get used to it. What's going on with the note? Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Halas Hope. Well, he's the one who keeps crashing it. All right, let's pay that fine. So, after we get out of here... You mean, if we get out of here? I know someone who could set us up with a relatively lucrative contract. I will not assassinate anyone. 
Yeah, I ain't sneaking around no rich Flarka's mansion to poison his dinner or something. I was going to explain how we could land a cattle herding contract with our llama experience. Absolutely not! Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paints, we get Novacore to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. And where is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. Not like they had much choice after the war. M ship. Designation Milano. Move whoa, to holding whoa, space R734. Present validated ticket to kiosk. What to ticket? Departure. Relax, Rocket. It's standard procedure. You keep saying that. This isn't exactly my first Nova Core find. Yours either. First time I'm paying one. How should I know? Ask the former Nova cop. Ask me what? I wasn't actually part of Nova Corps. Groot wants to know how come there's no patrol ships. The Rock isn't really that kind of station, but yeah, there should still be a few. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? We're here to pay a fine. Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look. The door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what? Now I'm supposed to hack Novacore security? I mean, if you don't think you can. Cheap shot, Quill. We are discussing breaking into a Novacore facility. It ain't breaking in if no one's here. That is precisely when one would break in. There. According to the monitor, there's nine people ahead of us, but no one's here. <sighs> Perhaps we simply need to wait our turn. Highly doubt it. Thirsty big guy? This machine appears to be inoperable. Maybe they're just all out of your flavor. We are meant to be clearing our fine, not adding to it. We're not breaking in, breaking in. We're concerned citizens. I don't like this. We really do need to get that door open. Yep, it's locked. Thanks for taking my work. Any chance they're all just on break? I am Groot. Groot says the kiosk still says open. I say it ain't our problem. Yeah, Nova's tech ain't that fancy. Don't expect me to hijack the world mind or anything, but I can handle some low-level security. All right, there's an air duct in here. Could be a way in, Rocket. Could, sure. Or maybe it drops down into the hangar. Think you can squeeze through this vent? If you can get it open, I ain't that flexible. One open air duct. Now we have damaged Nova Corps property. Eh, just a little. All right, Rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. You know, I still don't love this whole pay or fine plan. But I gotta say, messing with some Nova Corps tech ain't a bad consolation prize. Huh. There's something screwy with the power grid. It's like they're on backup only. I'm patching you through. You know the drill. Tell me which circuits to switch. We can only reroute power with so many things at once. On it! The 
this thing's got false positives all over the place. I'll have to do a relay. Is that supposed to mean anything to us? That's a door. The wrong door. Hey, hey it's a bathroom. Anybody gotta go? The only place I want to go is out of here. Just hang out in the dark. Anyone prepare to be amazed? I do not care to think of how many monsters we will need to sell to pay off this fine. We're in plain view of security, and no one's come running. I'd guess they're not watching. Remind me to steal a pen or something. Oh, oh, that sort of worked. The blast door's gonna need some extra goop. See if there's another power dump. Block it right, I can. What the block, Peter? Sorry, sorry. I'm not much of an electrician. Presto! What out? You know, ta-da! It is conspicuously silent. Good point. What are they doing? Scanning each other. Flark, if I know why, though. They're acting bonkers. Look there! You hear that? Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. Your sympathies are redundant. Hey, I'm half thing, remember? I did not. There it is again! Hey, in here! It ain't spooky. Uh, hey there. You are not what? What gave it away? Whoever y'all are, come here a minute. Hey. Jumpsuit, you gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in a cage. Novacorp begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Novacorp prisoner? What are you in for? Hmm? Case of mistaken identity. They mistook me for someone who gave a crap. Ooh, I like him. And back at you, weasel. So how about helping a guy out? See if there's a door release or something. Just look around. Huh? Hey, what did you do? Uh... Hey, where am I going? What's happening? Wonder where it took him. Furnace. Congrats, Quill. You just executed your first prisoner. That seems improbable. It's too quiet. We have been talking extensively. Drax is right. Everyone shut the hell up. Maybe we just sent him back to his cell. Like, that was the visitors there. You! Hey, buddy! Ah! Uh, oh, hey! Oh, what now? I got rights! Now, this place brings back memories. If you once served with the Nova Corps, you'd equip. <sighs> Screw it. I ain't making any progress here. Locked. Man, this place is big. What'd you expect? I'm getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. And none of that screams run away to you? Uh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. Oh, crap! I know I said it would hold, but aren't you tempting fate? Ooh, spooky. Hello? Oh, this looks fine. Right. Oh, crap! Ha ha ha! Oh, look at both your faces. If 
Splinter babies. Oh, you were too. Are these Centurion armor? Yup. Feel free to try one on, Quill. A true warrior requires no armor. You wouldn't fit in one anyway. For real? Can I try one? <laughs> if you want to get fried to a puddle of goo, each one is gene coded by the world mind. Are you saying the world mind has the genetic code of every Nova Centurion? Yup. Word is, the bugs tried to use that against them in the war. But that's one supercomputer you can't hack. Believe me, I tried. This looks like the only way forward. Are you blind? I didn't sign up for getting shot. Ah, no wonder the doors all torqued out. All right, let's hope that holds. How come this one gets its own room? Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. One tick, done. Now that that's done, can we get a move on, Jelly Legs? Don't even think about it. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm just asking. More nothing. There's gotta be an explanation. The house hope is a capital ship. Maybe they're all there for some reason. Or maybe this whole place is contaminated with Vormerian pox. I am experiencing a mild itching sensation. Yeah, and I got a real pain in my ass. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am Groot. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay. We try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. We ain't going back that way. I thought the Nova Corps had more ships. I heard they got, uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with, uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. Promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Uh, hey there. This thing on? We're, uh, we're looking for Centurion Corel. Who is we? We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We were supposed to meet Centurion Corel to pay a fine. Hello, Guardians of the Galaxy. I would be more than happy to assist you today. Where are you now? We're, uh, we're in some sort of monitoring station. Understood. Stay where you are. We will come to you. Well, what did they say? They're coming to us. 
Huh. It's about Flark and time. Where's Centurion Corel? Have faith. She is not with us at this time. Have faith? Really? Anyone else seeing a purple glow around these guys? I do not trust them. If there's an alternative plan, now may be the time to execute it. I am group. Come. All will be made clear. What do you mean there's no Centurion Corel? Her ship's literally docked outside. I understand your confusion. We will set your tumultuous souls at ease. Come, Guardians of the Galaxy. We will take you to the Hallow's Hope. Then you too can have faith. We should return to the ship. Yep. I am Groot. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and that all sounds super great. It's just, sorry, what's your name again? You may refer to me as Carlos. Right, right, Carlos. Listen, we really Carlos. need to pay our <laughs> fine. Um, then we can go on our way, you can go on your creepy Temple of Doom way. It's a win-win for everyone. Perhaps. Have you embraced her divine promise? Hmm. Only if I get her consent first. For the promise to be made real, all living beings must accept it completely. Come, have faith. Mr. Quill, we cannot return the way we came. All right, change of plans. Let's take these freaks to church. Purge them on the Oh, someone's getting purged. Reflect well on our find. I don't think that matters now. With that door, Flark, we gotta go out the way they came in. So expect more of them purple freaks. Yeah, what was with that weird glow they had? Let's just find Corral. I'm sure she'll know what's going on. Yeah, if she don't try and kill us like the last lot. No way. Not Corral. Not good. Clark, Nova killing Nova. Which side one. Wow. There's your answer. Oh, man, this is bad. We're sitting down. I will not stand here and wait to die. None of us got a whole lot of oh! choice. Clark and Meathead, nice knowing you. Here has everyone gone nuts. Oh! Oh! Let's <laughs> go. 
on the wrong thing. One doesn't come from flying solo. It comes from shredding them up in perfect harmony, together. Who's with me? Ah! Bring it on! Let me in! Yo! They are undeserving of the no point. That weird blow isn't helping! The bubble glow does not make their skills fire! Had to be best. done! What is next, Peter Clary? Blitz of rocket! Can't believe you two survived that fall! What? The attractor warrior! This is payback for all them parking tickets! I think our fine will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corel's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket! The only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right. It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me. I approved. Come on. Seriously, Corel? Join the guard.
guardian, she said. Don't be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell. I prefer the rodent's plan. It's a tribe. All must see. All You don't think this believe. sort of thing is happening at Nova stations everywhere? That's what they get for being jacked into an intersystem network. Or maybe what happens when one gets disconnected from it. Rocket, come on! You come on! I told you we should have left! And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano the and- Intruders reported in the repair bay! And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said all cycle. Sweep Sector 7. The intruders must be found. I knew this was a bad idea. this day was going. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? More up than this, but it's a start. Never thought I'd be fighting Nova Corps again. They are no longer Nova Corps. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? Hey, we can get through here. <laughs> You'll fit. Just suck it in. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look! Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. It's a sorcerer. Behold the magic float. Oh, there's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no fine. No problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. Nice to see you listening for a change. You cannot see listening. Don't you start with me, muscles. You're still mostly in my good... So... you think... Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone... There! Whoa! Purge the faithless, oh. Mark and Scott! Can nothing go easy?
out there? The only moves out there? Well, I say lies. You said it. Let's take a stand right in this moment. Stare in the eyes of our opponents and fight until only one of us remains. Who's with me? Today, I am the destroyer. Time to... me every step of the way I'm not there let's go I wasn't second guessing I'm just sure. these doors have been barricaded means someone at least tried to resist bad lot of good it did them we don't know that there could still be others on the station or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows hope uh is that Let's just pretend we didn't see that. So, let's flark and go already! Alright, hanging here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. I'm... No, not really. Sorry for going to sign up there. I was just there playing. she is. Come to Papa. 4 PL. Done. All right. Bay is clear. Extending catwalks. And. Flark. What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up. But you're going to have to release those clamps manually. All right. Release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. None can escape her light. Preferably do it quick. Submit! Open the
You should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. <laughs> you mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Hella knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. <laughs> and the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying our fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacor has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacor if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacor officers. And those robed priests, it was all... Very disturbing. Okay, sure. It's not like I flark and hate you right now. You should be nicer when asking for things, Quill. See you never, Quill. Guys, what's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Perhaps we should consume the rest of our food rations before we reach nowhere. To make room for new ones. I'll pass. You were not hungry? I already checked the cupboard. All we've got left are number five ration packs. Ah, uh, yes. The dehydrated eggs are foul. Ah, uh, Groot. Why? The Nova Tracker on Peter's chair isn't looking good. The countdown is making me anxious. Three cycles is not a sufficient amount of time. Really hope we can have the thing removed on nowhere, and we'll need a new ship. I suggest getting one that smells more pleasant. <sighs> Bet our comms array wouldn't be all chewed up if we'd kept the llama in here.
Maybe we should check other Nova Corps stations to see if they're all right. You want to check out more? We should avoid making the rodents angrier. Why? He's cute when he's angry. I must admit, I fear for the crew of the house. So those coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Assassin, you believe the events unfolding aboard the... Nowhere, here we come. and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot better once there's... You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. And nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Nova Corps all the time. Trust me. He's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Wonder if Rocket and Groot will be back to pick up the stuff they left behind. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Hypothetical. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. Spaceport seems busier than normal. War always moves poor to the frontiers. The Galactic War was over 12 revolutions ago. We're still waiting for the fallout. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it right there. I, uh, my answer gotta get to work, and I'll probably do this maybe later, later tonight or tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But until then, this was a lot of fun. Uh, glad I got the new mic to work properly. And I hope to see you all again another time. Hope you all enjoyed. Enjoy the VOD if you are watching it this way. And I'll see you all next time in the multiverse.